would be happy to uh, recite whatever you'd like to hear. Well, I have been hearing all about this wonderful poem for your father. Could oh, you recite that one? I, I would be delighted to do so. Yay! <laughs> and it's, it's a feel-good poem. Okay. And uh, my father was a cowboy. He was a packer, an outfitter, a guide, master of uh, hitches and ropes. He just he was an outdoorsman to the highest degree. And one night, boom! I wrote this poem, and I'm not kidding. It was ten minutes. Oh! Like holy smokes! It just came out faster than I could write it down. I'm writing it, and I, I didn't even change anything. So I asked the missus, she, she's a smart one, I'm like Marcy. And I says, uh, hey, what do you think about this? Let me read it to her, I got read it, okay, because I just wrote it down. And she goes, I like that poem. Get mom and pa on the phone, two separate poems, and see what their individual reactions are to it. And I'm thinking, well, gee, they're not gonna say, gee, Tony, that was terrible. <laughs> they got it on there, and they said, Tony, that poem's beautiful. I said, well, Dad says, son, I really like that poem. I said, well, that's about you, Dad. And he goes, wow. He goes, yeah, I really like that poem. Well, a week to the day later, I was reciting cowboy poetry. I, was, I believe I was emceeing it as well, uh, right here in Carson City at Mills Park at the 32nd Annual Carson City Rendezvous. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Civil War reenactors were there, gunfighters, all, all the fun stuff. What makes Nevada, Nevada? <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Nevada. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. <laughs> And I get this call from my mother on the phone. She's just frantic, and I can hardly understand what she's saying. I said, Mom, calm down. It's all right. What's going on? She says, Tony, your father just had a terrible accident on Moses. Moses was a huge Persian mule that my dad had. He had him for like 14, 15 years. A very docile animal, and nothing bothered it. And she says, they're flying from the rodeo grounds by the ranch, and they're flying to the trauma center and it doesn't look good, they said to contact family members. And I said, okay, I'll be right there. So I had to travel a fair ways. And a long story short, my dad was closing the gate from a ranch that he just left, and he was headed to my folks' ranch. And he was throwing the leg over the back of the animal. A mountain lion let out a big yell, and the mule went ballistic and took him on his last rodeo ride. And he kept, we saw the tracks, it went quite a ways. And he ended up getting thrown off hard and landed on his back, hit his head pretty hard, and he ended up with a non-sustainable brainstem injury. So the next day, he ended up, he passed away. He was just a, a couple months short of being 74. But I mean, he was, he was a, as tough as they come. So <clears throat> my mother and my wife, Marcy, says, you need to recite this at your father's funeral. I love this poem. So I said, absolutely. And he says, we're going to need a place big enough to contain it. There's about 800 people there. We had it at the oh. Petros building in Grass Valley. It was full military, full fire department honors. And I dressed up. And the funeral director says, Tony, I really like this poem. He says, uh, can I have your permission to print it on your father's little card there, itinerary? And I said, absolutely. So I recited this poem. And uh, for the folks that are watching, it's not a sad poem. It's actually a happy poem. And I always incorporate humor. And I... Something told me when I started to write this just to stop and then continue finishing the poem. So I did. When I get to the point in this poem when I'm reciting it, and I get to the point when your roundup days are done, take the fact that I wrote this exactly one week before the passing of my father's incident. So here it is, A Cowboy's Wishes. May your saddle for air be comfy, and your britches always stay clean. And the Mustang hoss that you ride on, ride like a dream. And the Mavericks you look for be easy to find. And your 44 6 gun hit its mark every time. And the parts that you rope with, you can depend without fail. Fond memories of past friends long gone from that rough, dusty trail. Under the stars in your bedroll, fresh air and the new morning's dew. And amber thoughts of your sweetheart's smile and face of those piercing eyes blue. And the American flag that you fought for, wave evermore. Soldiers remembered the ultimate sacrifice of war. And your fences always be mended, and your wants simple and free. Knowing God keeps his eyes peeled, giving guidance wherever you be. When your roundup days are done, and you're put in the ground six feet below, in a simple pine box branded, as you requested from ranching friends that you know. And when you're at rest on that final day of your last 
set in sun. Inscribed above you will read, a cowboy's work he has never done. Right on, cowboy dad, you're the best. Oh my gosh, tears, lots of tears. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful.